Yeah, it's me. Yeah, I know. I remember what you said. You didn't want to see my stupid face until you finished settling into a new place. Unfortunately for you, the rest of me is also stupid when it comes to you. <sighs> yes, I am well aware that I fuck things up. More than aware. Can I please come in? It's raining pretty hard out here. Are you still uncomfortable with me? I don't... I don't know what came over me. I, I don't. I've never exploded like that, you know. I have a temper, sure, but I thought I'd been doing better. I went to therapy, just like you asked, and we were doing so well. And then all of a sudden, you brought up this new job and wanting to move, and I, I just lost it. <sighs> Change is so bloody hard, you know. I was having panic attacks at work every day after you told me you wanted me to go to therapy problem to fix. I wasn't fixing it fast enough. You were going to leave. I know. I know you wouldn't have until I blew up, but that's not how my brain works. I need things to be safe. I need a safe space. I need to know we're okay. Otherwise, otherwise I lose my damn mind. I didn't know how to fix this. Talk to you and say what, babe? I don't want you to take your dream job because I'm too much of a coward to move away from a familiar place. And then what? What honestly would your answer have been? Oh, okay. No problem. Let me just give up my whole life for this crazy bastard. I'm too nice to leave. I'm stopping. I'm, I'm sorry. Fuck me. These flowers are properly drowned now. Yeah, I got your favourites. Even sprung for some queen of the night tulips to complement your intensely dark tastes. <laughs> of course, only the best for you. I saw a psychiatrist. Amy recommended it. Said therapy can help a lot, but seeking a second opinion or even medication might be an idea. I scoffed, bitched, moaned, but I went. I went and saw him. Long story short, I'm, I'm potentially, potentially bipolar. <laughs> it's okay, you, you can make jokes, it does explain a lot. Yeah, it explains my mood, my temper, my <clears throat> bedroom dedication, we'll say. The shrink cracked me up when he asked about the frequency of my bedroom activities. I answered honestly, and this short, stern Polish man peered over the top of his spectacles at me, perked an eyebrow, and said, And he's still a dump. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I like him too. Probably going to keep seeing him and taking these meds. They've helped. Even if I feel like a zombie sometimes. You're proud of me, yeah? Thanks. How have you been these last few weeks? Well, I'm glad you found yourself happier without me. Truth is, I don't think I felt this kind of miserable in years. And yeah, I know I should have thought about that before I did what I did. Do you remember when dad was in hospice? Hmm. For however angry I am now, it was so bad then. You were the only one that understood me, that understood that I hated the man. That I wanted to let him go to his grave with some semblance of dignity. After all, it'd hardly be becoming of a Fortune 500 CEO to punch his dying father in the face and yell, It took 15 years, but got you back. <laughs> it would have made for a funny headline, admittedly, yeah. I'm sorry that I blew up at you, sweetheart. I didn't realize that it'd, it'd be that bad that I'd scare you. I 
I know in the past you suffered abuse. Did I make you think of that? Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. Sweetheart, you, you know I'd never... I'm sorry it kills me that our relationship had been so good until I fucked up. I don't really know how to convey how every day felt with you. I don't say that to manipulate or gaslight. I just, I fucked up. I understand that. And I'd do anything I could to make it right by you. If that anything means getting out of your life permanently, then, then I understand. What would I do if you let me in right now? Probably something stupid. Like what? Baby, you know what? The second I saw you, I'd kiss you and I wouldn't stop. Your new couch would see some things it's probably not ready to see on its first night on the job. You know that, though. You know what I do any and every time you open the door and I see you, those lips, those eyes. <sighs> That snarky little smile, how you waggle your eyebrows at me to get me to laugh at the worst possible moment. Your body, how your hair falls over your shoulder. Yes, yes, yes. I am saying that I would kiss you like a maniac if you opened the door right now, unless or until you asked me to stop. Of course, I still love you. <laughs> 